Tulsa Gabbard explains something that hasn't been covered by the media. Check it out. We need to talk about something that hasn't really been covered by the media. Apparently, it wasn't enough for Democrats to concoct this half-baked lawfare scheme to convict their major political opponent, President Trump, as a felon and potentially put him in prison. Now, some Democrats in Congress are actually pushing legislation that would strip President Trump of his Secret Service protection, putting his life at risk. Now, they, they aren't even being subtle about it. They're calling their legislation the Disgrace Act, and it's sponsored by Representative Benny Thompson, the very same Democrat who led the so-called January 6th committee. They're not satisfied with all of their efforts to weaponize our justice system to go after their major political opponent. Now they're inviting an attack on his life. Let that sink in for just a moment. Now, if you ask them, they will claim that a supposedly quote unquote disgraced convicted felon who may be imprisoned shouldn't have the same protections that the Secret Service provides every other former president. It's very clear what they're doing. This is just the next step in what has been a very calculated plan. First, they convict President Trump on these bogus charges to brand him as a quote unquote felon. They've accomplished that. Now they've moved on to the next step, trying to dehumanize him, making it clear that this specific former president's life isn't even worth protecting. They are so hell bent on removing the possibility that the American people may choose to elect President Trump in this upcoming election that not only are they willing to throw him in prison, now they want to take away his security and jeopardize his life. Here's the bottom line. They're so terrified of losing power. They are so terrified of President Trump getting reelected. The very same Democrats who claim they are defending democracy will do anything, and I mean anything, to stop we the people from even having the choice to vote for Trump. Their continued brazen abuse of power is making it even more clear that we the people must hold them accountable by voting them out of power on November 5th.